India's military says four fighters got into the base before dawn on Sunday. There was a troop rotation going on at the time, so there were more soldiers than is usual. Most of the casualties were sleeping in a tent that caught fire. A gun battle lasted for several hours at the base, which is close to the border with Pakistan. The military death toll is the worst in Indian-administered Kashmir since a raid in December 2014. India's military says there's evidence a Pakistan-based group jaish e mohammed is behind the attack. Since the terrorists had some items which had Pakistani markings on that, I have spoken to the Pakistan Director General of Military Operations and conveyed our serious concerns about the same. Pakistan's foreign ministry rejected the allegations that it was involved in the attack. India and Pakistan both claim the Jammu and Kashmir region, but they rule only parts of it. There have been more than two months of protests in India's only Muslim-majority region after the killing of a popular separatist field commander. This was the funeral on Saturday in Srinagar of one of more than 80 civilians who have been killed in fighting on the streets with Indian security forces. They've been accused by human rights groups of using excessive force, including shotguns that fire pellets. Pakistan says the UN and international community should investigate what it alleges are atrocities committed by Indian security forces. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.